In this video, I'm going to do a direct comparison between the old grid and the new grid, which is available within the Microsoft Power Pages site. So if you have used old grid in the past to render the list content in Power Pages site, you might see something like this. The grid has a, a header. So just show you, this is the header component and there are, this is the main area whereby you store all the contents so that content gets rendered. This is the context menu through which you can navigate to the view details or edit page. Uh, and then there is a paging component through which you can navigate to different pages as this list displays maybe 10 items. If you want to see the 11th item, then you need to navigate to the second page. Then there is a search which is available over here. Uh, there's a create button and there is a download button. So create creates a new record, download downloads the uh, existing uh, grid records. And uh, if you see the header component over here, uh, there's nothing much going on in the header component. It, it, it is not a filter. You can just sort either uh, by alphabetic uh, from A to Z or Z to A. Uh, there's no filtering component within the header. Now, this is in the edit mode for the grid. Here you will see edit list, add filter, edit views, permissions, stock standard. Uh, you can duplicate, you can delete the uh, uh, grid view. Uh, so those things you can see over here in the old grid. Okay, moving back to the new grid. Now, what does new grid provide? The new grid functionality. The new grid has basically uh, a modern looking button, create and download. It has got a nice header and the header has filter components and uh, you can also view various different views over here so that's a view filtering happening over here then there is a search button over here uh, then uh, you see a context menu whereby you can navigate to view details edit and delete and uh, the same functionality as you see over here in the edit mode it is all same to the older one edit list edit view permissions uh, duplicate delete but there is an interesting component as formatting so which is which also adds a lot of value you can actually select the header font the content font you can select the border height margin padding shadow and the, another cool thing is like you can actually copy the design from one grid and paste into the another so those all things i'm going to show you uh, in the demonstration just give a decent comparison between uh, those two particular interface is uh, you see in the old list you have a modern button uh, sort columns is available in the both uh, list paging uh, it is there in the old list however in new list you do not have a paging however you have something called as a lazy load so it will load some content at the start and then as you scroll down it will start loading more content multiple columns sort so you can actually do a multiple column sort in the old list you can only do one column sort so the moment you select on another column the first selection uh, doesn't hold good uh, there's no scroll bar uh, however in the new list yes there is a scroll bar and then that will allow you to do an infinite scrolling uh, filtering is very ugly in the old uh, grid but it is pretty much uh, like a kind of a dataverse related view uh, uh, in the uh, new grid. Search as you type. So here there is a search option uh, in the old grid, but there is no uh, like say there is search as you type functionality available in the new list. Uh, new list. Now the context menu rendering is good. Here it is fair. Uh, view selector so you can actually select the view you can actually do a table styling you can do a font styling you can even copy paste design and it is pretty much good from a responsive perspective so i'm going to demonstrate that all this in this video so as you see over here this is the new grid and if you want to see how the old grid look like it will look something like this with all the filtering and search and create download functionality. So let me show you an action in a different site altogether. So let me create a new page and I'll call it as old grid and I'll create an another page, which I will call it as new grid. And then I'll create an another page, which I will call it as maybe a copy new grid. So in old grid, this is how we 
uh, used to build this form. So we need to first select list. And then from there, you just select whatever list you want to render. So it's all contact or active airlines. So maybe I'll just select all contacts and I'll click on done. Now, this is the by default view available. So if I just do a sync and preview the site. So this is how the old grid looks like. Now the old grid, if you see over here in the header component, I can do a sorting. So if I want to sort by A to Z or Z to A, I can sort that. But the moment I click on this sort, say second column sort, the first column sort disappears. So you can only sort by one column at a given point of time. So either you can sort by created on or company name or email or full name, but you can't do it as full name and email. You cannot do that. Now, let's go into the list over here and let's try making it very comprehensive. So I'll just click on edit list and it is coming from a contact table. If I click on actions, I will click on create a new record. So I want a new record. I'll point it to some page. Uh, download list contents. Yes, I want that. I want view details for the row action. I'll point it to a web page. Uh, the display label is view. I want to edit the record. Here, I'll point to a web page. And I have an option to delete the record as well. Now that's all good. If I go to more options, I want to see more number number of records per page. So I can select five or six or whatever. I can click enable search in this list and in advanced settings, it's all good. Click on done. This is my comprehensive list. I'll sync this content. And this is how my list looks like. So once the configuration is synced, I should be able to see the entire functionality of the old grid. So this is how the old grid looks like. And uh, you will be able to see the create button, download button, view details button, uh, and the paging button as well. So, so let this sync up. Uh, so in the meantime, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into new grid. And here in the new grid, I will click on list and then I will select an existing list, which is all contact. And now I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to turn this on. So that says try the new and improved version of this component. So what will happen over here if I turn it on, it will render the new grid, which is available within the Power Pages site. Now, this is a modern way of uh, looking into the content. So here you will see the create and download button is already available. Search is that there is a view selector. So if I click on edit list, it will pick up all the actions which was there for the other grid which we have selected, right? So it remembers all the actions which we have just, uh, we did this configuration, number of records per page is five, placeholder text is search. So all these things, it is similar. It is almost same, I would say, where, with regards to the older grid. Now, uh, the new part over here is uh, let me uh, first uh, show you the design component over here. Now, if you see here, rest all menu option is almost similar, but we have this new, um, say, format options available over here. In the old grid, if I go to the old grid, I don't see any formatting options over here. So if I go to the new grid and show you the formatting options, there are many things which we can do over here. So if I click on design, I can so see I can configure standard header and row component. Now I can put a border. So if I put a border of five pixels, then it will add this border as you see over here, this border with this color. So if I want this color to be something else, I can do it. I can click on adding a new color. So just to show you visually where that color goes. So if I click on this red color, I'll click on OK then that red color uh, should take an effect and then it will be applied uh, around the table. So like this, you can uh, add those colors within the palette and then this color gets added over here. Height, 
I can set the height of the table. So if you just see, I'm just increasing the height. So as you see over here, there are some changes which is happening in the grid in the backend. So I can control the height, but I should not modify the setting on from a height perspective. But from a margin perspective, yes, I will add a margin of say maybe three pixels. Now here, you might have seen the margin has increased to three pixels. Now I can increase the margin as well. So if I increase the margin, as you see over here, the margin uh, gets, uh, uh, say added by say 43 pixels similarly i can add the padding if you see here like the from a grid perspective how the uh, the padding between the cell component increases so if i just minimize it the padding um, is either increased or decreased so this is how you can control the padding and same you can control the shadow as well so in the shadow if i want some other color so if i want uh, some say black color then I can get that shadow for that particular cells as well. From a header perspective, let me show you the header. So the header perspective, you can do a whole bunch of other things. You can set the background color. So for the header, maybe uh, let me pick up some different color. So maybe green color and I'll select the color. This is just to show you how the color looks like. But again, you will decide the palette within your uh, design set. And then once that color is selected, you can select those color and then the background will be displayed. You can set the font family. So there are multiple font options available uh, within the uh, new design. Uh, so let me go to Roboto Slap. Okay, so this is how the font will look like. Or maybe I can uh, select something more fancy. I'll select Comfort Art. And font weight, I can have a normal or extra light or bold or extra bold. I'll put extra bold and this is how the header will look like. Font size, again, for a header, if I want something more, something bigger, I can do that. But for time being, I think 19 pixel or maybe 16 pixel is good enough. Uh, I can even set the border for the header. And for a row, I can have the different font. So I can have a different font for the content, different font for the header, font family. Maybe I'll just select Kalam and font weight. I will select maybe thin. So this is how my content will be rendered within the grid. Text align. This is also an important component of welcome change. Uh, if I want the text align to be justified, I can select that as well. So like this, you can save the content. You can just sync the content over here. And then this is how your uh, changes will be applied. Now, just to go to the old grid, in the old grid, I told you that you can get the paging component over here because you have five records displayed. So you have this paging component displayed. Now, from a search perspective, you can even search on the content within the grid. Uh, you can download the content. Uh, and at the same time, uh, you can uh, just navigate uh, by clicking on the filter component in the new grid. So in the old grid, you don't have the filter component. The only thing where you can search is by using the search uh, button. Now, let me preview the new grid. So in the new grid, we have made some significant changes as I demonstrated to you. Uh, there are a lot of things which we can do from a styling component, heading uh, from a row component. Uh, we can make the font change. We can put a border around. We can put a padding around. Also, one of the added advantage of the new grid is we can do a multi-level uh, column sort, Okay, which I'm going to just show you once this page loads. So, so this is the old grid. So it has uh, two different uh, pages because we have uh, segregated the grid into two different sections. Now, if I click on new grid, let me show you. So this is how the new grid will look like. Now I've made this design very ugly, but then you can make it very professional depending on your need. Now here, I just want to show you that you can sort by the full name. So I can sort by A to Z or Z to A. So let me sort by Z to A. And from an email perspective, I will sort by A to Z. So here, as you see, the sort level is applied for full name and then it is applied to an email. So it is first sorting descending by full name and then ascending by email. So you can do that as well. You can select various other views available within the application and search is something uh, which you can uh, do on the fly. So take, for example, if I just type uh, Kim K, 
I and the moment I type something it will automatically search without even waiting for the uh, complete search text to be typed in so if I remove this then it will again display the complete grid here we can also do a filter so if I want to just say filter by and uh, the name contains O N okay so if I put some text over here and I click on apply then it should display the result if it finds a character O N rendered within the uh, full name. So if you see Ron George and Donald Duck, yes, it has O N in it. And then that's why you have filtered uh, with those character. And there are other things which you can do. You can filter by contains data, does not contain data, begins with, ends with, does not equal, and so on and so forth. Now this entire grid control as you see over here uh, which is like the new grid uh, for the application now here the content will not be rendered uh, completely so it will only render a few set of rows and then as you scroll you see the scroll bar over here it will automatically start loading the record so if you have more record as you see over here it is starting to fetch the information from the back end dataverse table and then it will start loading those records so that's why there is no paging uh, implemented within this application. Now, if you uh, see the context menu, so the context menu lies over here and then it will give you a nice interface like view details or if you configure edit or other functionality, yes, you can see the context menu over here. Now, with the oh, if you see from a responsive perspective, like I'm doing, uh, I'm showing you, uh, so let me show you how it will look from a responsive perspective see now it has rendered all this content in the form of a uh, like a cells and it has compressed the top menu item so download button has now become a drop menu and uh, this is how this uh, this grid is more responsive compared to the old grid so let me show you how the old grid looks like the old grid looks something like this and if you uh, want to check the responsive behavior, just see here what's hap what happens. If I click on action menu, I have seen this view details. And now if I just move over here, it is not responsive at all. Okay. And then that drop menu like somewhat it disappears. So you need to actually scroll down and then get those value. At the same time, the search is not uh, like a type as you search. You need to actually type something and then click on enter or click on the search and then it will start searching now if you see here i search for geo it hasn't found anything if i use geo star then then also i will not get that george record okay so searching is i would say uh, not complete within the older interface now uh, the third thing which i wanted to show you is like if you have a new grid so Take for example, this is a new grid, which is over here. And if I click on list, and if I want the new component to be displayed, and now this time let's say maybe the same list, but it will not inherit all the styles which we have created over here. What we can do, we can go into the new grid, which has all the style, click on this component, click on the design, and just say copy design. If I click on copy design and come here, and come to the new grid, and here I can just select the styling component and just say paste design. So it, the browser will ask you to uh, enable the C text and images copied to the clipboard. I'll say allow. And then within a fraction of a second, it has copied the styling from the uh, grid in one page to the new page. So this is how seamless it is. So you can even copy the styling component. And I told you like from a responsiveness perspective, it is completely responsive. It is much better responsive than the older grid. So uh, this is the prime difference between the old grid and the new grid in Microsoft Power Pages. Thanks for watching.